set up on the attack Baby, I'm bad I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad Do it, no cap Only got one shoe, better go live it up Cash in the bag Stadium pack Baby, I'm bad Baby, I'm bad I got What's good, you guys? It's your girl, Cece, a.k.a. Cecilia Robinson, a.k.a. Cece Reacts. And I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in with me today. Before we get started, I need for you guys to like, subscribe, and share the video. <laughs> also, please hit that bell so you know when I'm coming on. Listen, I'm going to ask you guys. I really, really need y'all to share the videos. YouTube be on so much BS with me, hiding the content. People don't know I post it. Share the videos, you know what I'm saying? Be a friend. Let people know, you know, what's going on. Also, I want to say this. Um, I heard you guys request. I listened and I've developed something brand new for you guys. The How Did I Become a Criminal series is now available to see have members only. You guys have been rocking with me. Y'all have followed me through my whole prison journey. Now, hear the story on how all of that um, came to life. How did I take those steps in order for me to go to prison? Yes, it's available now on the Sea Hive. This is the first of several series that's coming to the Sea Hive. Listen, it's some fire content, and you guys will not be disappointed. So anybody who hasn't joined the Sea Hive, listen, if you want more stories from me, the Sea Hive is where you need to be at. And if you want to hear how I end up going to prison, check out how I became a criminal. Sign up. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And once again, thank each and every one of you. Now I want y'all to sit back, relax, and enjoy this fire content, this fire episode, and y'all be smooth. Have a dope day. Y'all listen, um, the police end up giving me a police report and they end up giving my landlord a police report and they told both of us that we need to show up in court, you know what I'm saying, to make sure that these charges are oppressed to the fullest extent of the law. Me in my head, I'm not going to court. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to court for that. Have it go. My landlord talking about he going to court. You know what I'm saying? But even though I'm not finna press that dude who really broke into my crib, I'm finna press my landlord because it's my landlord damn fault that my house got broken too. How dare you not change the locks? If you had a problem with the dude from jumping, you had to evict him or start the eviction process, um, why wouldn't you change the locks? Why wouldn't you? You know what I'm saying? So I tell my landlord, I say, listen, I say, you responsible for my money being stolen. So he tell me, he said, you know what? He said, I, I, I try to help you out as best as possible. How much, how much money was taken? I said, they took $20,000 from me. When I tell him it's $20,000, like his whole, his whole mood changed. You know what I'm saying? He, I don't believe he took $20,000 from you. I'm like, what I got to lie for? You know what I'm saying? So he looking at me, he looking at me. I said, you never changed the lock. You know what I'm saying? So he tell me, he said, well, why would you have $20,000 just laying around in your apartment? I said, first of all, I didn't have $20,000 just laying around in my apartment. I said, it was tucked, it was hid. I said, but he searched my crib. You know what I'm saying? And he was able to get in my crib because you didn't change the locks. He used the key. You know what I'm saying? So he tell me, well, why didn't you have your money in the bank? I told him, I said, because I went to, to prison for bank fraud. But of course, I'm not going to have my money in the bank. I know how in the hell to get through the bank system. You know what I'm saying? I don't trust the bank. Furthermore, I don't feel like uh, uh, the banks would allow me to have, have a, 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 you know, a bank account. I didn't think they would. You know what I'm saying? He said, well, that's no excuse. I said, you trying to badger me about where I kept my damn money at? I said, instead of you trying to figure out how in the hell you're going to get my money back. He said, me, I'm not going to give you your money back. You know, he said, that's too much money, and I don't got it like that. You know, he said, but I could try to work with you on some other stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, what the hell are you going to try to work with me on? You know what I'm saying? Check this out, y'all. And this is some real stuff. When I first got the apartment, I paid my rent in full for a year. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, I end up paying my rent every month still to make sure I'm, 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 I'm ahead of the rent curve. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I do stuff like that is because in my head, 
You know what I'm saying? You never know what's going to happen. And considering the fact that I was on parole, at any given time, these people can come down on me. I can lose my job. I can have a hard-ass time finding another job. People don't like to hire ex-cons. And, 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 you know what I'm saying? People on parole. Because they, they look at us at, like we're the bottom of the totem pole. And it just is what it is, you know? So I was paying my heat. Listen, I'm paying this man double. You know what I'm saying? I done paid you once. And now I'm paying you again. You know, have it go like, bitch, you was living. You're living good. You ahead of the curve. You know, so um, he see I got an attitude. He see I got an attitude. He tell me I'm going to finish helping you bring this stuff in. Then I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. You know, I said, I'm okay. You know, me and him work, but I work to put my stuff back in silence. I was pissed off. You know what I'm saying? Pissed off. Once we get everything back up in the crib or whatever, um, um, you know, the police gone ahead, went on ahead and left, took, took other people off and all this. They called a tow truck to tow the damn uh, 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 pickup truck that they had. Um, my landlord tell me I'll be over here bright and early in the morning to change your locks. I'm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He, like I said, I can't give you your $20,000 back. He said, but I'm going to talk to my wife and see what we can do. And I'm thinking, boy, you ain't your wife. You know what I'm saying? I'm irritated. When he leave about the door, I slam my door and I lock my door. I push my couch up to my front door. I put my plank, you know what I'm saying, back on that, that back door. And I go ahead and I go in the shower. Now, when I'm in the shower, I'm thinking I'm irritated. I'm irritated, you know, uh, because now I'm finna have to leave this apartment. Because I don't trust this nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't trust him. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. His dad should have been locked up right with the burglars. It just is what it is. Um, when I get out the shower, I get in the bed. I can't even sleep comfortably because I, 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 I can't sleep that comfortable knowing that somebody has some damn keys to my house. You know what I'm saying? What else? What else? Uh, and this is some real stuff. What if dude would have came up into my crib while I was up in my crib sleeping some stuff like that and did some stuff to me? The first thing these people would have said was, yeah, you know she on parole. She probably was out here involved in some illegal activity. And you know, this is the this is this is, this is what happens. This is what happens. And this was a, they would have blamed it all on me. You know, um, I would have had to defend myself from the damn grave, what they always do. You know, I, I did not feel comfortable, y'all. Uh, so I stayed woke all night, all night, all night long. About 6 a.m., my phone rings. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, 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 in my head, it's either my parole officer or my landlord. You know what I'm saying? Because I had texted my parole officer before. Um, I had texted my parole officer when the police was there. It, it was either my parole officer or, or the damn landlord telling me he finna come over there and change the locks. So I didn't look at the, like, the little call ID or whatever. I go ahead. I just answer my phone. You know, tick, hello. You know, um, I hear I look at my phone. It's 6 a.m. on the dot. You know what I'm saying? I'm what? But on the phone. I hung the damn phone up. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, have you even washed, brush, washed your face and brushed your teeth? Or you just on the damn phone, funky mouth, crusty face, trying to shoot your damn shot? You know what I'm saying? Like, like, why? Why? And furthermore, I bet a thousand dollars to a buck of doo doo. JD ain't even woke yet. Nigga ain't even stretched yet. Ain't even scratched his ass yet. You know what I'm saying? And you over here calling, talking about can you speak? Like I said, I had hung up on the bitch. You know what I'm saying? She calls back. You know me. Ain't numb on me. I said, if I do it again, what are you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? She's saying, mm, bitch, I hang the phone up. You know what I'm saying? Then I think, I don't want this bitch calling my phone no more. I should have blocked the, the wobbly finger bitch last night when she sent that stupid ass text. How it go? I blocked her. You know what I'm saying? I block her. I go ahead and I lay there and I lay there and I lay there and now I feel myself getting, like, getting tired. You know what I'm saying? You know, I done been up all night. Now it's daylight. I feel myself drifting off, drifting off, drifting off. Finally, I get a phone call. I get a phone call from my landlord. It's about 9 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Landlord tell me he's on his way over there to change the locks. When he come over there, y'all, tell me why, this, why he don't have a damn tool in sight. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got a tool in sight, bitch. What you supposed to put it on with your fingernails? You know, how it go? He tell me I'll be back. Leave the locks there and tell me I'll be back. He come back an hour later. You know what I'm saying? Get back about 10, 15. He got some tools and he, you know what I'm saying? Licking his fingers and everything. Normally, I love my landlord. But today, he was just, he was hitting the nerve in my ass. You know what I'm saying? He go ahead and he changed the locks and he get his ass up out of there. You know, I don't say bye. I don't have no conversation for him. None of that. You know, um, about 11, 30, 12 o'clock, um, I get a phone call from B. 
So B asked me, he said, what you doing? I say, nothing. I say, I'm getting up, getting ready for work, you know. He said, well, you, you need a ride to work. I say, yeah. He said, well, I'm close by you. He said, I'm going to scoop you up. And he said, I'm going to keep you with me until it's time for us to go to work. I told him, no problem. You know what I'm saying? I hurry up and I go on here and I finish doing whatever I got to do up in the bathroom, put on my clothes and everything. You know, pick me out a nice little fresh pair of shoes. Um, And I go on here and wait on him to get there. He pull up. I go on here. I get out, you know, go out there to the car and we drive. Now, we end up driving to a part of Pittsburgh that I had never been to before. Well, there's plenty of parts of Pittsburgh I ain't never been to before. But this part, it's like built on a hill. You know what I'm saying? So, the houses are slanted down or up, whichever way you coming. You know what I'm saying? So, slanted down. And these, these cribs, they look pretty nice. You know what I'm saying? The street, you can look down the street. And I just thought that was like the most fascinating thing ever. You know what I'm saying? Now, like I said, all these houses and everything over there, they look pretty nice. Like, okay, this look dope. Now, it was one damn house on the block that looked like it was some stuff out of a horror movie. You know what I'm saying? And I'm looking like, who the hell lived there? I mean, the crib really looked abandoned. Two of the windows had um, boards on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they trying to get that crib up out of there. So, I'm like, damn, you know? I was like, that's an eyesore for the neighborhood. You know, have it go. He go ahead and he parked the car. You know, the car rolled a little bit. He got a you know, turn his wheels and all this other stuff. And I just found it fascinating. Y'all, I, I found weird stuff. Like, parking uphill, downhill, that's fascinating to me. Have it go, we park, you know, we get out. So when he, it's like, you know how you, you, when you just think you know something. So when we get out the car or whatever, um, I'm walking. I'm walking behind him, but I'm, I'm getting ready to walk to somebody else's damn gate when he keep walking. So he keep on walking, he keep on walking, and he he's approaching the damn abandoned house, the abandoned looking house. You know what I'm saying? So I just know in my heart, he's finna walk past this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, instead, he turns up into the, the, the raggedy ass gate and start walking up the chip stairs. And I'm thinking to myself, out of every damn house on this block, this the one you chose. You know what I'm saying? So as he walking up the stairs, I'm like, yeah, how long you been living over here? He said, I've been living over here for a few years. And I'm thinking to my damn self, you've been living over here for a few years and this is how your steps and stuff look. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, take some pride in stuff. You know what I'm saying? If everybody else's house on the block is nice, um, uh, uh, why in the hell yours look like this? You couldn't lay no cement? You know what I'm saying? You couldn't paint? You couldn't water a flower when it's had, but you know what I mean? You couldn't put no bushes out here? Like, gee, you know? I mean, I'm thinking to myself, like, it is what it is. Have it go. We go on here. We go up in the door. Now, when we go up in the door, y'all, listen. Y'all y'all, y'all know how a wall is. You know what I'm saying? Listen, one of the damn walls got, like, a scrape mark all the way in it. Like, Freddy Cougar had took his claws and just clawed down the whole damn wall. Now, I'm thinking to myself, what the hell is this? The Nightmare on Elm Street? You know what I'm saying? I'm looking around. Ain't no carpet on the floor. It's a pile of shoes by the door. Like, they not even lined up. It's just a pile of damn shoes. You know, um, ain't no coat rack. Uh, 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 like, when you walk past the dining room, it's a card table with two chairs with a one single candle in the center of it. It's, it's dim as hell up in there. You know what I'm saying? It smells damp. Up against the wall, I uh, mean, up against the windows. It's sheets and everything. Nigga, this is a bad door. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you live here, live here? He say, yeah. I say, you and who? He say, me and my wife. And I'm thinking to myself, ain't no bitch touch up in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, your wife got to be, like, trifling on some real life stuff. Because ain't no way. And I'm like, well, where your wife work at? He said, my wife work at Pizza Palermo. You know what I'm saying? I say, for real? He say, yeah. So we going through the house, you know what I'm saying? And he, I'm, I'm looking, ain't no pictures on the wall. Um, I see some butter bowls just sitting in the sink. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm peeping everything. You know what I'm saying? This house look like a trap house. You know what I'm saying? So I asked him, I said, well, who used to live here before you? Before you? He tell me that the house was abandoned. You know what I'm saying? He said he got the house for a steal. He said him and his wife supposed to have been working on it. He said, but their finances haven't been that good. I said, I understand. You know what I'm saying? Um, he turned to go up the stairs, and he tell me to be careful on the stairs. He tell me to go, you know, uh, lean up towards the wall. Now, I hear him tell me to lean up towards the wall, but my stupid ass grabbed the banister. The whole damn banister falls down. He tell me, listen, scared, scared the hell out of me. When the best thing hit the ground, he tell me, he say, don't worry about it. 
It's a whole banister, y'all. A whole banister. To just stay. He said me don't worry about it. He said it been weak for a while. You know what I'm saying? So when he, listen, when that banister hit the ground, I got what he meant. Step against the damn wall. I'm leaning up against the wall, walking up the damn stairs. Some of the stairs is missing, and it's bringing me back to my childhood because I used to live in a building like this. So I got to walk walk up the stairs that's missing, like walk over them and everything. He tell me to be careful because he don't want me falling through the basement. Bitch, you need to be careful. Matter of fact, this whole house is condemned. You know what I'm saying? We finally get on up there to the, to the second floor. You know what I'm saying? Get up to the second floor, and I follow him into a bedroom. It's dim as hell up there. You know what I'm saying? Man, you was bright as hell outside, dim as hell up in this house. The house look like something that needs to be on a horror movie, y'all. Um. Uh, he walk into the bedroom. I follow him into the bedroom. It's a queen size bed with um with a, a flat sheet on it. You know what I'm saying? The flat sheet is like a full. It don't even cover the bed. It's two damn pillows, not four. You know, I like a lot of pillows. But it's only two damn pillows. No pillowcase on them. Pillows dirty as hell. And I'm thinking to myself, pillows cost $199, $299, $399, $499, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $599, $
and automatically my my piss went back up in me. <laughs> Ain't no one in hell I'm finna use it up in here. The mo the dopest thing they had up in that bathroom was the little the ring to go around the faucet. You know what I'm saying? It lights up. That was the dopest thing. They had a a a a a, a, a damn shower lining, a, a shower liner that was over the tub. That there ain't no shower curtain, just a liner. You know what I'm saying? And that bitch was forty shades of brown. You know, uh, the soap by the sink was so damn dry, it had cracked. That's like that's how you know a bitch ain't 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 ain't, ain't, ain't washing their hands. The toilet seat is on the side of the damn toilet. So in order for you to sit down, you gotta pick it up and put it on top. I don't gotta piss in here. I I rather use the alley. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't gotta use it no more. I go ahead and turn back around. You know what I'm saying? I asked him, I said, you ready? He said, yeah. We go ahead, you know what I'm saying? We leave and we go to the job. Now the ride to the job, I gotta be honest with you. Like I like talking to dude. You know what I'm saying? I hate the way he live, but they ain't got nothing to do with me because I don't gotta live with him and I ain't trying to mess with him. You know what I'm saying? But he he funny. So me and him, we vibe, we talking, we talking, we talking, we chilling. You know what I'm saying? Cracking up, cracking jokes. He asking me what I think about the certain people who work at Pizza Palermo that I came in contact with. He's telling me that he been with Pizza Palermo for a few years. So he know them. He done been in different stores and all this other stuff. We talking, talking, talking. Now, by the time we get to piece of Palermo, Cynthia is still there by herself. She looked tired as hell. She got her a monster. She drinking it. Um, she taking orders. You know, she wink at me and all this other stuff. Cynthia still ain't had a day off. She been working for like two weeks straight, y'all, on some real life stuff. Um, she tell her, she say, it's just us today. I tell her, that's fine. We got you. You know what I'm saying? I right, we go ahead, wash our hands, put on our, my, our, our aprons, and we go ahead, we rocking it out. The whole time, we talking and everything. Now, you are already know when you at work, when you got somebody to vibe with, talk with, joke with and everything, your time flies. You know what I'm saying? So I'm in there cracking up. I'm talking about silly as hell. When I'm in my element, I'm talking about I laugh till I cry. You know what I'm saying? About 4.30 the door opens. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so when the door open, I hear the door open. I hear Cynthia say, hey, CC. She say, hey, yo, bitch, the door. You know what I'm saying? So when I look up, it's JD. You know, it's JD and he's standing there with some flowers. So, first, I wasn't going to go over that to him, being honest, being a bitch. I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't want him. You know what I'm saying? But how often do niggas buy you flowers? It is what it is. Buying, buying a woman flowers is always a dope-ass gesture. You know what I'm saying? So, I found it. You know, I take my gloves off and everything. And I go on here on over there walking all slow and everything. Like, like my feet heavy and everything. Get over that to him. You know what I'm saying? So, I go on here and walk from behind the counter. And I go and I stand there and I'm looking at him. You know? So, he was like, listen, Slick. He said, you was on my mind. He said, I feel bad about yesterday. He said, listen, here you go. You know what I'm saying? He said, this is my apology. Will you accept it? I said, yeah, I accept your apology. He said, man, you cool? I said, yeah, we cool. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking to myself, we could be cool all damn day, but I'm still not messing with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not messing with you. So listen, he give me a little hug. You know what I'm saying? He squeezing. He smell my neck and everything. And I'm marveling over my flowers a little bit. And and I'm thinking about like everything. Listen, y'all, y'all got to check this out. Um, I do understand. He told me we are not together. You know what I'm saying? He did say we are not together. I'm not your man. You're not my woman, but we are dating, but we are dating. You know what I'm saying? But what he didn't say is he had a hundred other bitches. You know what I'm saying? Give me that right. You, you, so you gave me the right to let me know we are not, we not together, but we dating. You know what I'm saying? And you gave me the right to know that I'm going to treat you like you my woman, this, that, and the third. But you, you, you didn't, you didn't let me know that it was a line of other bitches that I was in line with. You know what I'm saying? You made me feel like I was the only chick in line. No, don't steal my opportunity to say yes or no to you. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I felt like you were stealing Gucci. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 he tricked me. He had a trick of bitch kick. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he did what he wanted to do. I wasn't cool with that. You know what I'm saying? And I know some people, you don't, he don't got, you, he don't ask him shit. Shut your dumb ass up. You know what I'm saying? Shut your dumb ass up. If you gonna tell one part, tell it all. You know what I'm saying? Don't make me think nothing so you can get what you want. If you say we're not, we're not together, but we're dating, you know what I'm saying? And you doing all this stuff like you my damn man, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking this is what it is. I'm thinking we're working towards a relationship. But you never said, yeah, I'm not your man, you are not my woman. We dating, but I got a gang of them. You, I do want that, I do want that. Give me the opportunity to say yes or no, I want to be a part of this circus. 
He didn't give me that opportunity. So that's why I got mad at. And then, let me throw this out there. Some of you niggas and you bitches are dumb. Because y'all just say, oh, yeah, um, 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 yeah, I want, I want, I want, I want, I don't want no relationship. I don't want no relationship, but I want to act like we got a relationship. And then when it comes down to, well, I ain't your man, you, you, you're an idiot. You know what I'm saying? You deserve to be held inside your goddamn head with a bat. It is what it is. You know, don't trick me. Don't trick me. You tell me what it is and let me decide if that's what I'm going to do. Have it go, you know, we hug, you know, and he go ahead, he walk out the door, I look at my flowers. Now, when he's walking out the door, Saeed is walking in the door, you know what I'm saying? So, Saeed see me with my flowers. So, I'm walking behind the counter. So, Saeed, he, CC, CC, what's that? I said, my flowers. He said, did he just give you them flowers? I say, yeah. He throw them away. I said, I'm not throwing my flowers away. You know what I'm saying? He... Well, don't have them up here. This is the restaurant. This is a place of business. I don't want those on the counter. I said, okay, fine. I'll take them to the back. You know what I'm saying? So he, he like, he done ate my ass. I don't, I don't got nothing to say to you. Because, dude, you talking like you you got some control over here. You know what I'm saying? I take my flowers to the back. And I go ahead and wash my hands. Put my apron back on. And I start talking to B. Start talking to Cynthia. You know what I'm saying? Whole time I'm talking to Cynthia. I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm doing my do. I don't give a shit this nigga. And we laughing amongst ourselves. He don't like that. You know what I'm saying? He don't like that. Have it go, me and B, we laughing extra loud. Me, extra loud, extra hard. We crying to the point we, you know what I'm saying? We talking about his tight pants ass. You know, uh, he don't like me talking to B. He get an attitude. He's sitting over there just a sour puss. You know what I'm saying? Have it go. He come up to the counter. He's CC. I say, yeah. You know what I'm saying? He come here. So I gone over there to the to the to the counter where he at. He, I have a party coming in tonight, my soccer team, and I want you to serve them like you did last time. I make sure you get plenty of tips. I said, okay. You know what I'm saying? I walk away with him. He, I'm not done talking to you. I turn back around. I'm like, yes. He, I want to make sure you're on point. Are you on point? You're okay. I say, yeah, I'm okay. What you talking about? You know what I'm saying? He was like, I'm just making sure. Have it go. I gone back over there. Me and B and Cynthia, we still sharing our inside joke. You know what I'm saying? Because you're you doing too much right now. Have it go. Um, He get up and he go to the bathroom. So when he get up and he go to the bathroom, um, he back there like two or three minutes. Then he come back and stand like on the opposite side of the glass. And he, CC, come look at this bathroom. You know what I'm saying? So now, 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 bitch, you want me to go clean the bathroom? You know, I take my gloves and my apron off, and I look at Cynthia, and I look at B, like, yo, this nigga's tripping. You know what I'm saying? So I go ahead and walk back there. Listen, when I walk back there to the bathroom, I'm expecting to see some, like, some some gross stuff, like some, yeah, or some, some do on the wall, or, you know, maybe a tampon, some, some, something that's disgusting. You know what I'm saying? Instead, when I get back there to the bathroom, the bathroom is clean as hell, so I don't know what the hell he's talking about. So I'm looking around. When I get around, get ready to turn around to tell him, like, yo, what are you talking about? about he grabs me by my throat child he grabbed me by my throat slam the door you know what i'm saying slam the door and lock it now he still got me standing in the center of the floor and he looking at me he pushes me up against the wall you know what i'm saying so i'm looking at him like dude you lost your damn man he tell me cc i don't like you talking to other men in front of me so I'm, the hell like boy you ain't even got the chance to get no sydney dean yet you know what I'm saying? What, the, what, what, what are you talking about? You don't like no me talking to other men in front of you. You know what I'm saying? He, I don't like you talking to other men in front of me, CC. I don't like the feeling. I don't like the feeling. Those men can't do nothing for you, CC. I'm the one. I'm the one. And I'll tell him, I say, let me go. You know what I'm saying? Let me go. I, I'm trying to pull his hands. Now, listen. What's blowing me even more about this conversation is this nigga ain't got no lips. He ain't got no damn lips. You know what I'm saying? So he tell me, Cece, you belong to me. I said, I don't belong to you. I'm not a damn slave. He tell me, as long as you work here, you are mine. You belong to me. You're my property. See, this is the problem with you damn foreigners. Bitch, you, you bury inside your, your culture, your race, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You come over here and then you want a, a black bitch. You know what I'm saying? You want some black hoe. You want something that's black. And then you think you own something. You ain't no damn slave, master. Peter Pan. You know, you're not no damn slave master. You know what I'm saying? So I tell him, I'm like, let me go. You know, so I'm trying to push past him. He pushed me back up against the wall, and he take them flat-ass lips of his and say, try to kiss me. I'll I, I, I try to pop. Go goddamn lips on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you tripping? Like, do, do y'all know how weird it feels for my lips to be so big? He ain't got no damn lips. So when he press his lips up against my, my lips touching his nose and his damn chin. But get out of my damn face. 
You know what I'm saying? So I snatch away from him and I start walking towards the door. He CC, you don't want me. You don't want me. I turn around, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I say you'll look better with some money attached to you. Since that's since that's what you wanna do. You know what I'm saying? He, you want money, you want money, you want money from me, you want money. Now he's willing, you know. He I can give you money, I can give you money. Now you wanna negotiate because I got you by the balls. It's a couple of things I can do with this. I could just extort him. You know what I'm saying? I could go ahead and find me a lawsuit for sexual harassment. It's a few things I could do with this. You know what I'm saying? I look at him when he's telling me, I got money, I got, bitch, I know you got money. You know what I'm saying? I go ahead and open the door and I walk back out and I'm looking through the little, the little, the glass and everything at them like, yo! You know what I'm saying? Giving them the eye signal like, this nigga's tapping! You know what I'm saying? Have it go. I go ahead back behind the counter and I get back to doing whatever I'm doing. I'm trying to brush that little mood off. Me and B still talking. He see that I'm talking and lolly gagging and everything will be. He come back there and he get right on B ass. Stop riding him. Riding him crazy. Riding him. Riding him. Riding him crazy. Talking about how he not making a piece of right. All this other stuff. Man, you be been working there for years. You know what I'm saying? Long story short, the soccer people come up in there. You know what I'm saying? I go on ahead and I serve them. The whole time I'm serving them all their food that they order or whatever. Uh, so every time I walk past Saeed, he touching me, touching, grabbing on me and telling them, like, this is my girl. She's all mine. This is my girl. This is my girl. This is my girl. Listen, I ended up leaving with $2,500 tips, but I still was blue. You know what I'm saying? Have it go. We going home for the night. Um, B dropped me out. Now, listen, next morning about uh 1130, B calls me. B asked me, he said, you need a ride to work. I said, yeah. He said, I. Right. He said, listen, he said, I'm outside of your crib right now. I'm like, damn. I'm like, okay. You know what I'm saying? I said, I'm going to let you in because I'm not, I'm not dressed. You know what I'm saying? He said, okay. When I go open the door and everything, B standing at the door, and he still got on the same damn clothes from last night. So I'm like, yo, you know, he got cold in his eye. He looked dirty. I'm like, what's up with you? He looked tired too. He said, man, I've been sleeping in my car all night. So I'm like, why? You know what I'm saying? He tell me that Saeed called his wife. Imagine his wife working at another piece of Palermo. Saeed called his wife and told uh, his wife that he got an inappropriate relationship uh, going on with another co-worker. And she needs to talk to him. So him and his wife got into it. You know what I'm saying? And, and she put him out. So I say, well, damn, now I'm comfortable with knowing the fact that, that B would never get nothing nigga to get. You know what I'm saying? So I tell him, I say, yo, I say, listen, I said, until you and your wife uh, situate, get y'all situation together, I said, go ahead. I got a couch. You know what I'm saying? You more than welcome to stay on. He tell me he appreciated. He said, because he don't got no family there. You know what I'm saying? It's just him and his wife out there. I said, no problem. No problem. I said, until y'all get y'all stuff situation, I said, you more than welcome to my couch. You know? So he tell me he said, I'm finna go to the car and grab a bag. I said, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, I don't know if he was planning on staying with me or whatever, but it is what it is. That's how it happened. Listen, I go ahead back to my bathroom. I go ahead and get ready or whatever, whatever, whatever I'm doing in the bathroom. When I'm through in the bathroom, I go ahead and I tell him, you know, um, I get, I leave out my bedroom to go tell, go ahead and tell him that, you know, he can get in my, my bathroom. When I walk out of my bedroom, he's sitting on the edge of my couch and he's slumped over. Y'all, I see a field, a field, a field of nits. You know what I'm saying? Apparently, this nigga done packed up all the nits. And packed them in the bag and he got them stuck to my damn floor and he counting them. So I'm like, yo, what are you doing? He tell me that he had to take all these off the wall because he ain't want this bitch using them with nobody else. Y'all, I was so blue. Listen, y'all stay tuned. Y'all be smooth. Bye.